another twist in the internal battle within the progressive Democratic Patriots. If the Deputy Chief Secretary feels so aggrieved, feels disappointed in my leadership, I, I will I'll remove the parliamentary whip from over his head. And if he so does, let him enter a motion of no confidence in me. But that's not all. If he fails, then we will prompt to remove him. The wrangling between Chief Secretary Augustine and his deputy has been playing out publicly after Duke posted a video criticizing his executive for allegedly not helping a group of 27 Tobagonians belonging to the Roxborough Folk Group who were stranded in New York. But Farley maintains that the Tobago House of Assembly in fact approved over $400,000 for airfare and subsequently accommodation. In an interview on I-95.5 FM on Tuesday morning, the Chief Secretary said he is uncertain as to what is causing Duke's behavior, but denied that there's a power struggle within the PDP. So <coughs> he's perhaps struggling with a ghost, but not with Farley. And even if the no-confidence motion is not forthcoming, Farley said the other 13 PDP members of council will determine Duke's future as Deputy Chief Secretary. That is something that the, the members have considered, because as I said, I have met with them. But amid the internal issues comes this assurance to the people of Tobago. The posterings of the Deputy Chief Secretary has not in any way affected the operations of the Tobago House of Assembly. The group in question was led by former government minister Vanilla Alain Toppin, who could not be reached by CNC3 News for comment. Watson Duke has also not taken any of our calls up to news time. Chester Sambrano, CNC3 News.